Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we'll take a look at exception handling in C++. You can call exceptional handling as developer decided errors. Exceptional handling is divided in these three blocks, try, throw and catch. The throw function of this structure is used to throw an error code or an error message, which can be later used by the catch block. Catch block is used to catch an exception with an exception handler. That is, it'll read your error code which is thrown and accordingly give you an error message or try to troubleshoot the problem. Let's move on to the try block. A try block identifies a block of code for which particular exceptions will be activated. That means we'll be throwing our exception from this block and it will be followed by various catch blocks. Now let's take a look at, at the syntax of exception handling blocks. So it starts with the try block. This block will contain your protected code. You can use if else statement if you want to throw an exception using conditions. In short, you'll have your throw statement in the try block followed by the catch block which will handle the exception. Exception handling can be used for logical errors as well as user defined errors. So that'll be it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like it or dislike it. Any other suggestions or requests will be accepted so just throw them down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one.